So this is why I think this is the number one place in the world. Everything is interesting yeah. here for me. Well, what's the most interesting? Communication is just a struggle, but it's yeah. cool because you're seeing places that aren't touristic at all. Like. We're looking also for travel stories. Do you have any travel stories that stand out? Uh. Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. We are in Simarip. This is about five and a half hours drive from the capital city of Cambodia. Before we making a full episode about the biggest temple complex ever built, here in Sima Reap, I'd like to do a why a why Cambodia. Why do people come and visit this amazing country? What do foreign tourists really like about Cambodia? Uh, why a why Cambodia this episode is called. So we're gonna approach some random foreign tourists or foreign people anyway, maybe they're, they're living here. I'm not too sure who we're gonna meet yet. I'm gonna ask for some stories and we're gonna seek for some wisdom as well. So I think it's gonna be an interesting one. I hope you're excited. Let's go! I just really wanted to see the Angkor Wat. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. so I'm here from 12, 12 days basically. Oh. And I'm about to, um, I'm gonna travel for Phnom Penh too. So I've always been wanting to go to uh, yeah. Cambodia. Oh, so is this your first time? Yes. And how many days have you been here already? Just one day. So oh. I'm just exploring. Yeah, so did here. you fly into Phnom Penh or? Uh, no, Sham Reap. How is your first impression here? Um, Really great. So yeah. um, I find it a little bit similar to Hanoi, oh, yeah. which I also love. Yeah, um, yeah it's been really cool so yeah. far. Did something extraordinary happen while you were here? Uh, not yet, honestly, because <laughs> I also work um, oh, okay. Yeah, during the day. What do you do, may I ask? I'm a web designer. So you can work anywhere? Yes, basically. Oh, nice one. Good yeah. for you. Thank yeah. you. Other than the massive temple complex, what else are you going to see? Um, Just basically relaxing and meeting people. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Just go, travel and yeah. meet a lot of people. I lived here three years. Oh yeah? Yeah, and this will be four, three, four years now. Oh, wow. I lived here all COVID. Yeah, yeah, in Simreep. In Simreep. Oh, okay, so... It was fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Can it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, I was stuck in England, actually, in the very first year in, of COVID, and then I escaped to Thailand. Uh, have you been living in Thailand as yeah, well? I lived in Thailand 10 years before. What's so good about Cambodia, and especially compared to Thailand? Uh, what, what makes it so... Here, so here, here the weather. Yeah. The weather's amazing here. Yeah. It hardly it only rains a little tiny bit, and then it's fresh. <laughs> Thailand, it rains and it bounces off the floor like 10 feet. Right. Like, so a lot of flooding as well? Yeah, yeah, and it, so it, this is just perfect. Ah. Honestly, this is why I think this is the number one place in the world. Oh, right, okay, okay Seriously. there you go. Yeah, okay, yeah. you don't have a beach. That's the only thing you do, do yeah. not have. But if you stay in Chiang Mai, that's my favorite city in Thailand, yeah, yeah. you don't have a beach either. Okay, I say Phuket. Okay, oh, yeah. I, I, in Nai yeah, 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 yeah. where I, got, I live right next to the sea. Do you go back sometimes? Um, I. Do you, it's for the visa problems as well for Thailand. How yeah. do you do it here, if I may ask? Oh, you easy. Like six months, six months. And no questions asked? No questions. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't know. No, yeah. that's why it's number one. You don't have a freezer here. Yeah. yeah. It's just fresh food every day. Yeah. You know, you eat chicken, you eat dairy products. Yeah. Like chicken, egg, you know, yeah. kind of like noodles. It's just all uh, healthy. Yeah. You know? Is there something that you miss that you had in Thailand and not here anymore? Uh, I miss cheese. Oh yeah? I miss good cheese. Oh, but they have like... Mm, quite... It's very, very expensive. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, you're looking at like $9 ah. for a piece of cheese. Okay, okay. For a good piece of cheese. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, yeah. we're in England, super cheap. Yeah. You know? The food is not so good here. That's what I'd say. Okay. Unless you go go expensive restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then. So overall, you're saying Cambodia number one, for, for, but for food, maybe Thailand. Thailand number one for yeah. food. Okay. Hundred yeah. percent. We're also looking after travel stories. Do you have any story that uh, happened in Cambodia that sticks out? I uh, not that I could tell you on camera. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful here of the ATMs. Oh, why is that? Because they're they're, they're same as Thailand. They. If you have to start, you start putting skimmers on them now. Ah. So read all your card details. Then they just wipe out your whole account. Yeah, okay. So just be careful where so, you, and you have to be very careful with the $100 notes here. Yeah. If you get one tiny little mark, yeah. they don't accept it. Ah, yeah, yeah. So then you're stuck $100. Yeah. Then they'll try to get you $80. They say, yeah. I'll give you $80 for it. Yeah, okay. The police just kind of like, as soon as they find out about anything, they just go in like heavy handed. If you if they call the police and the police get involved, they they, they know it's a big problem yeah, for yeah, them. Okay, yeah, you know? Yeah. For for us it's gonna be a problem, for them it's being a bigger problem. Because yeah. it goes down for the shame for their family. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So their family, like their grandma and everybody else starts finding out and then they're like then you Have you ever seen Thailand here in Cambodia? Uh there is in the in the bars, yeah. You can get it with the the girls. Okay. More more the girls. 
But the girls are getting violent too. The, the, the girls are getting violent, yes. Oh, wow. Like they, like, they don't care here. They just whack you in the face. Oh, shit. Yeah. Just, they, just for... The, you're, they're arguing with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just slap you in the face. Wow. And you're like, whoa. Yeah, never slap back, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, and you're like, whoa, don't yeah, yeah. do that. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck? And then all their mates are trying to hold them back and yeah. they're trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, honestly, yeah. there's been many times like that. Would yeah. you say Cambodia is less safe than Thailand? I know, I'd say it's pretty safe here. Yeah. It is pretty safe here. Thailand, you have the mafia and the, and the art police, and everybody in Thailand's got, oh, they all have guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, they're clever enough not to give them guns here. Do you have yeah. a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Stay away from 15 minute cities and come here where you can be free. <laughs> My name is Diana, I'm from Serbia. Oh, Ser Serbia? Yeah, Serbia, uh, Europe. Not Syria, not uh, Sibir, no. Serbia. <laughs> let's be clear, let me be clear. Yeah. Hey, why or why Cambodia? How long have you been here and how many times have you been here? This is my first time here, yeah. three days. Okay. I'll be here two more days. I'm traveling the whole Asia, ah. so that is... Which uh, which all Asia, like the Southeast Asia? Or? Yeah, 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 ah. yeah. So which countries are you going? Uh, the next is Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, Thailand was before this, okay. uh, then Laos. And hey, now you're doing, uh, let's say, five, six days in Cambodia? Uh, yes, for example. Ah, and what are you going to see? I'm just walking around. I was uh, in the temple, yeah. so, temples. And yeah, the I, don't know, Wat, you I, mean? Don't have, I don't have any plans. I'm ah. just walking. Uh, after you arrive, what's the best thing about Cambodia? It's exotic for me, you know. That's where I came from. I can see stuff like this. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's really interesting. Everything is interesting yeah. here to me. Well, what's the most interesting? Mix of everything. Yeah. <laughs> it is really. Yeah, that. like the tuk tuks and the. Uh, special, kids. yeah. Everything, everything. Everything is to combine is. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. Have you been, have you been to Phnom Penh? No, I don't know. Probably to, maybe tomorrow, okay. but I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Enjoy life. Still you're young. I just came from Thailand. I'm oh, a yeah. rock climber mainly. Oh, okay. I was climbing in Thailand, so I might climb some days in Cambodia and then Vietnam. So I'm doing like a Southern Asia wow. climbing trip. Are you doing it professional? Uh, ah, I wish, man. Oh. Hard to get money from rock climbing, but I, I got a lot of fun. So, yeah, 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 yeah. A okay, good time. Okay. I'm from Brazil. I'm living in yeah. Australia, and then I, I just like, it's a cheap flight, so why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And where did you arrive? I arrived today in Cambodia. I came by train from Thailand. Yeah. Pretty cheap. So coming in by train from Thailand, how is Cambodia compared to Thailand for now? Oh man, for now it's it's been very different. Like people, I, I was in a more touristic place. Now it's people don't speak English, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, so like yeah. here it's easy. Yeah. But when I was doing like the train track, man, it was hard. Like I didn't even had like service, so Google ah. Translator didn't work. Communication is just a struggle. But it's yeah. cool because you, you're seeing places that aren't touristic at all. Like did you make a stop anywhere or? No, nah, man. I just yeah. came from the to the border, and then from yeah. the border I got like a we like a weird bus here, ah. it, was, it was cool. Hey, and what's the best travel story so far, uh, including Australia oh. and uh, yeah, anywhere? Man, that's hard to answer, yeah. but actually, I've been doing some multi-pitches, which means like climbing uh, very, very high mountains. Yeah, okay. Uh, which is something new for me and very, very interesting. Yeah. So, like I did some cool mountains in Australia that are like breathtaking. Yeah. My bag is mainly my gear. Yeah. I have a, some clothes, but mainly gear, which is... You brought very, also your ropes. My and rope, yeah. My Whoa, rope is with me. It's like heavy. five kilos of rope. Yeah, yeah okay. That's but wow. it is what it is. Yeah, like, yeah, perks yeah. of it. Like. Hey, and what are you going to see? Are you going to see something of Angkor Wat uh, while you're here? Or? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to see the main one. Like, yeah. you got, I'm, I'm here, yeah. so I, why not? Yeah. But then I'm moving to around nature. Oh, they were in the train with me. Cool. Oh, cool. Well, hey, guys. Hi, yeah. <laughs> cool. want Cool. You want to say hello to that? Oh, small okay, town. Okay. Yeah, there, 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 there is a small town. It is a small town. Hey, uh, thank you so much, man. No, you have a um, message to the world or some wisdom to pass on. Wow, man, that's just, man, do your passions. F off, do like f jobs, f like career, like have your good life, man. We're young, let's enjoy. This is my second time. Okay. I came here for a little trip and I was based in Laos trying to build a school. Oh, and wow. then I actually got here and decided that it needs to be built more so in Cambodia. There was an organization working in Myanmar before mm -hmm. the military coup. Yeah. Uh, and they're Australian based, non for profit. And then we ended up, obviously, the military coup. We can't work on our schools yeah. right now. Uh, they're all on an education strike okay. currently. Yeah. Um, so now I've been looking, I spent last year in Kenya, now looking at Cambodia to yeah. build a school. What's the name of the organization? Uh, uh, it's Hark Angel Foundation okay. in okay. Australia. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be in Cambodia, but they but last year built nine schools in Myanmar. Wow, wow, yeah. okay. And these nine schools are now temporarily closed? 
We're, Tough. from what we know, they're all still standing, but it's hard to get into communication with yeah. people, so it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. So. We're looking also for travel stories. Do you have any travel stories that stand out? Uh, well, actually, since I've been here, I've been to four weddings. Oh, yeah. People just keep inviting me to weddings, which <laughs> Cambodian weddings are amazing. <laughs> um, and I got invited sort of the day I landed uh, my taxi driver said, oh, tomorrow come come for a wedding. Wow. And so we start, uh, he picked me up and we start driving. And I realized that we're going to Angkor Wat. And the wedding was just outside of like Tomb Raider Temple. Wow, yeah. And so we just had a big wedding and like kept on turning around and there was just Angkor Wat wow. in the distance, which is really See, cool. See, this is Cambodian hospitality for you, really. Yeah, like, yeah. the hospitality is insane. I'm, I'm actually living with... Um, the family that I met when I was on holiday, okay. like like a quick trip here, yeah. um, they found out I was back in Sim Reap and they were super angry and they were like, why aren't you staying yeah. with us? <laughs> yeah. And so they've hosted me, like cooked me dinner every night, Aww. like let me stay for free, like yeah. will not accept anything. They're just so kind. Yeah. Something that I actually noticed yesterday is um, I just learned like if you're getting a massage, always tip your massage therapist okay. um, because a lot of the time like the lady, I was, I think I was paying $7 for a massage yeah. and at the end I asked her like how much she gets from the massage and she gets $1. Wow. So always tip your massage yeah. therapist like in the room before you go out because yeah. you'll pay their boss yeah. and then they'll see a dollar of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've heard people saying like if you go for a massage, especially in, um, in Phnom Penh but maybe here in Stream as well, don't take too much money on you because it's also not, it's very tempting for them because they earn so less. To also steal. look at yeah steal yeah. a little bit so you have to be careful also for your safety and I think yeah. Um, yeah. stealing is yeah big and also like heckle your drivers like they'll ask you for five bucks but they would have accepted yeah. a dollar yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, so exactly, exactly. like don't be a dick but yeah. also heckle because yeah. they'll ask you yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you so much. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? One thing that I've learned since being in Southeast Asia, like Laos and Cambodia yeah. particularly, yeah. is um, for me, it's been mind blowing how much, like if you spend money on like, like give money to someone, like um, bless somebody, it comes back to you and more. Yeah. And that has been like undeniable for me yeah. since my trip. So I would say like be as generous as you physically can be. Because yeah. <laughs> it's probably the most like, it's when we talk about investments, for yeah. me, that's been like the most amazing yeah. thing. Cool. Yeah, cool. And I'll also put some links down in the description to get to your charity or the, the charity that you oh, work for. So you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did so, please give us a thumbs up. I would like to say from Simarip in Cambodia, bye for now and stay champ.